Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share my take on wearing red lipstick. So the focus is really going to be on the lips and I'm keeping the rest of the face quite neutral and soft. And I'll be using this new Velvet Lip Glide from NARS, which is perfect for this look because it's super pigmented, but also really comfortable on the lips. The texture is really special. So I'm really excited to share this look with you guys. I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. So as always, starting off with clean, moisturized skin, I'm first going to prep my face with this mineral primer from Hourglass. It comes off a little white, but it blends right into the skin, and the texture of this is really nice and soft. It makes my makeup go on really smooth. And for foundation today, I'll be using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and my Alima Pure Foundation Brush. And I'm first just putting a little bit on the back of my hand, kind of let it warm up a bit, and then dipping my brush into it and blending it into my skin in circular motions. I don't use this foundation very often, but if my skin is doing really good, then I prefer to use something a bit more lightweight. And then I like to go back with two different concealers to perfect the skin a little bit more, just so that I don't have to put a lot of coverage everywhere, if that makes sense. These are the Radiant Creamy Concealers by NARS, and I'm first taking the slightly darker shade to cover any small imperfections. Also around my nose, I tend to have a bit of discoloration there. And then I take the lighter shade to conceal and highlight underneath my eyes and this is in the shade ginger and the one I used before which was slightly darker is in the shade biscuit and then with my dampened beauty blender I'm just going to bounce that and blend it into the skin this is my favorite way to apply concealer I find that you get the most coverage this way but also the finish is super natural looking and very blended and then I like to set that with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to pour a little bit into the cap and I accidentally put way too much it just kind of overflowed everywhere but I fixed it and then I'm just dipping my beauty blender into that and really pressing it underneath my eyes to allow that concealer to really set. This technique will really lock in the concealer and it will prevent it from creasing and it'll also further brighten the under eyes. So this is a great technique to use. And then with whatever's left on the beauty blender, I just kind of bounce that over the rest of my face to set the foundation. Once all that is done, I'm going to take a Q-tip and just remove any foundation or powder that got on my lips. And then it's on to the brows. Starting off, I'm just going to brush them upwards with a little spoolie and then taking a super precise flat angled brush, I'm just going to fill them in with a dark brown shadow and I'm really focusing on creating a parallel line between the upper and lower brow and then winging it out at the side. So really just filling it in, defining the shape a bit more and making them look a little bit fuller. I also like alternating between filling them in and brushing them out just so that the powder doesn't look too stiff and too perfect. I want it to look a little bit more like fuller and natural looking. Onto some eyeshadows, I'm using the Zoeva Coco Blend Eyeshadow Palette, which is one of my favorites. It's also quite affordable and the colors are just amazing. So I'm first taking this warm brown color with a really fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm just working that into my crease, creating some depth and some warmth. And I also like to run this down through the side of my nose and create a bit of a contour there as well. And then with a slightly denser blending brush, I'm taking the color right next to it, which is a bit darker and it has a little bit more of a red tone in it. And I'm gonna apply that in the same place as the warm brown, but just not blending it up as much. So kind of more defining the crease, creating a little bit of a smoky look. And I'm also running that color down on my lower lash line just to kind of balance out the top. And it will give this beautiful, soft, smoky look to the eyes, which is not too overpowering. And I think it's perfect to wear with something like a red lip. And then to further smoke out the lower lash line, I decided to take this matte dark brown with a pretty dense uh, eyeshadow brush, and I'm just running that again down my lower lash line. I find that this also makes your lower lashes look a lot fuller. It's kind of like a reverse eyeliner. It really does define your eyes, but in a really soft way. 
And just to highlight the inner corners of my eyes, I'm taking my favorite highlighter by Dior. This is the Glowing Gardens highlighter. And I'm just applying that to the inner corners and also a little bit on just the center of the lid. And then using a clean finger to blend it in. And it will just give a little bit of dimension and kind of glossiness to the lid without being too overpowering. Usually when I do like a full-on makeup look, I will use some falsies, but I decided to keep it really simple today because we are going for a quite a dramatic lip. So I'm just going to apply a few layers of mascara. This is the iconic uh, Dior Show. So I'm applying a few coats to my upper and lower lashes. So that is it for the eyes. It is my favorite eye look of the moment. I do this so often and I think it will go with so many different lip options. Now to complete the rest of the skin, I'm just going to take a little bit of the Casino Bronzer by NARS to just warm up my skin. And then with the same fluffy eyeshadow brush I used before, I'm taking a bit of that bronzer down the sides of my nose. And then to add a little bit of color to my cheeks, I'm applying some of this NARS Orgasm Blush, which I think is such a universally flattering color. I think so many people look good in this blush. And I'm applying that to the apples of my cheeks and then sweeping it backwards. It also helps to smile a little bit because you can kind of find you know, exactly where to put it. And then to complete the skin, I'm going to use that beautiful highlight by Dior just on the tops of my cheekbones. I also like to put it on the temples and a little bit under my brow. Using a fan brush is my favorite way. I think it really distributes the highlight evenly, makes it look really soft and natural, which is my favorite. And lastly, onto that beautiful red color. As I mentioned, this is a new product from NARS called the Velvet Lip Glide. And it comes in 13 colors, which are all inspired by the 70s era's iconic club venues. And the color that I chose was this one in the middle here. It's called Mine Shaft. It's this beautiful red color. And I guess the best way to describe the texture of this, it's really unique. It's kind of like a lip hybrid. So it glides on like a gloss, but it gives the most intense color color and coverage of a lipstick. So it's really comfortable to wear and the finish is very pigmented as you can see and it has this nice semi-matte finish. I really like the doe foot applicator. It makes it really easy to kind of line your lips and get to the inner corners and you really have a lot of control when applying the product. So that is a final look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you can find me on my social media. I am on Instagram and Snapchat, and both of those are Annie Jaffrey. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you've all been doing really, really well. I have missed you guys, and it feels so good to be back in front of the camera talking and I'll be using this new lip glide from NARS, which has a really cool and unique texture to it. So I'm really excited to share this look with you guys. I hope you enjoy it and let's get started.